What's going on guys, the Ultimate Gamer 19 here, and welcome to my first ever advice video that I am going to be doing. Um, I think this is going to be a little mini-series that uh, from time to time I'll be doing, just like for things that I feel so strongly about and, you know, it's just important stuff in general. Uh, so don't expect this to be uploaded as frequently, this is only like uh, a situational thing. And like I said, it's something that I feel strongly about and all that stuff. So uh, I have a whole bunch of topics to discuss in this video that are actually really important. Um, so that way, I, I had it written all out. Like I just read it. I written it out before I started recording this narration because I don't want my I don't want this advice video to be a train wreck where I am like really scatterbrained right now. I just woke up not too long ago, but. I just don't want it to be a big mess and not be organized or anything like that. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so a lot of people have been asking me questions on like, how do you make a YouTube video? How do you like record and edit and all of that stuff? Well, uh, it's actually not that complicated. It's actually pretty simple. Um, there are a few things that you will need. Um, you will need to have a recording program. A mic which is optional and a decent computer and an editing program so basically you have four things um, actually three things because mic is optional if you don't want to talk that's completely fine you don't have to um, but I recommend it I guess so I, okay let's start with the editing program um, a lot of you guys you should have pre-installed like it's already on your computer most of your computer so there's Windows Live Movie Maker and Windows Movie Maker um, that's a really good starting program to you know, yeah, so it's a start out with uh, because if you are not familiar with editing and all of that, then Windows Movie Maker or Windows Live Movie Maker will help you on editing. And it's actually not that complicated. It'll, it'll like it'll help you a lot. So be sure to use those programs. If you have any other programs and you're used to editing, then just go with the other programs that you like and all of that. Uh, just make sure you learn how to edit because people don't want crappy videos, okay? You need to like produce them decently or well. Uh, sometimes people don't edit at all and it's just like perfect in its own way. That can be a thing. But editing is a must and it'll like make you a little bit more different than others because now that if you want to like record a let's play or anything, everyone's in the same community, they all do the same thing. So try to make yourself like stand out and be different than other people. For me, like as a editing program that I use for now, um, I'm using Camtasia Studio 8. And before I started Camtasia, I also started out with Windows Movie Maker. And I got myself familiarized with all of the, you know, the, the whole points, you know, just the, the procedure of editing and how to do these things and before a long time ago I think back in 2006 or 2007 I was really young um, I started a skit channel where I would like film myself with a camera and then just do all these obnoxious things and just the whole thing behind it like you know the most fun for me was editing and since I had that experience back then I used I just incorporate what I knew from back then into into something that I can use it for now if that makes any sense I once again, I'm scatterbrained, so I'm not going to be like saying these things all clearly and probably these things that make no sense. Okay, uh, so there's that, which is why I, you know, I am some somewhat familiar with editing and all of that. Um, a mic. Let's get onto the mic. I'm gonna be honest here. There are people with mics that are sounding like potatoes. Okay. They don't sound clear. They're really muffled and really bad quality, and I don't think anybody wants to like listen to that because they can't even understand what you're saying. And a mic, if you're wanting a mic, get a decent one, not one that sounds like a potato. Um, I actually bought a very cheap microphone, which was about ten dollars from Walmart. It's like a desktop mic, so it's not that expensive. So you can go for that. I don't rem remember what the model is exactly called, but I remember it was a Logitech desktop mic. Um, the next thing you need is a decent computer, and this is the basically the the base. It's the baseline for everything. Obviously, you can't do anything without a computer. So go for a decent computer. You don't have to go all out. Like I said, 
you don't have to go too expensive at first. Um, just one that runs games rather smoothly because people don't also don't want to watch laggy gameplays and things that take an hour to just get processed and all of that. <laughs> Trust me, I've had my experience with that. I didn't like, I didn't like having a crappy computer to record videos. And it just turned out to be a train wreck. All right, so the last thing that goes along with this topic, which is extremely important, and you guys need to hear this if you're serious about doing videos and all of that. Um, is basically just to have passion of what you're doing just being yourself and not being someone you don't want to be or being someone that you're not um, Because that is a different story and it's not the best thing because you're basically lying to yourself so basically just I say basically a lot because I don't know it's my favorite word basically <laughs> but have passion have the motivation of what you're doing just if you're doing it and you're not enjoying it then I don't think you should do it because it's going to be like that for the rest of your YouTube career. There may be people that do not enjoy what they what they do in the beginning, but they might trans like they might progress to love doing what they do. That may be another thing to to think about. Uh, but most importantly, you should start off with a whole bunch of motivation. You should start off with doing you know loving what you do. Because you don't, then it'll be a chore and it will not be a hobby or a job in general. Because not all jobs have to be boring. There's that. So overall, just be yourself. All right, so the second topic, which is also extremely important, basically this whole video is going to be important, just narrow it down to that, um, is dealing with haters and having perseverance. So let's talk about haters first. Let's narrow it down to what haters are, basically. Haters are people, that's pretty self-explanatory, they hate you, they don't they don't like you or something like that they put nasty comments on your video and this they, they dislike your video and they troll you and all of that don't let them get to you they are just stupid people that don't want you to keep making these videos and all of that they just they're just jealous when it comes down to that they're just jealous or they're really having a bad day and they just le they're just leashing out their anger on someone they don't know and it can be really hurtful sometimes what they say, but um, as I grew, as I grew, like I always used to care what haters said about me, like you know, all that stuff. But now I don't, so I'm a much happier person now. And basically, just block them. Don't get the, don't let them get to your head because if you let them get to your head, you're letting them win. Actually, you don't want them to win, and don't give your power away to them. Just. Ignore them, block them from everything, I don't know. So yeah, that's how you deal with haters. Uh, the next thing or right next to haters is perseverance because perseverance is linked with haters because haters, they drive people to quit and it's really stupid just to let one or two people or just a couple of people to, to let you quit just because what they're saying hurts you so much that you want to quit if that makes any sense because I'm just rambling about these things but have the perseverance if you love doing what you do you would not let someone let you make you not want to do it anymore and if you let them do it then I don't think you love what you do I mean some people can be lying to themselves again like oh I love doing this I want to do this but then again when someone puts them down they want to quit it doesn't work that way. Okay, for people who actually love doing what they do, it doesn't work that way. Um, so once again, don't let anyone get to you and don't quit because of them. And right off the bat, when you start making videos, I just want to make a note of this, people will not notice you right away. Obviously it's going to be like that because there's a whole bunch of people in this community that are doing the same thing. And because there's so many people doing the same thing, it's going to be really hard for you to get out there if you're all about that. So just be patient and I guess just wait it out. Just keep doing what you do and just wait it out. Um, and then there's that topic. So next thing is accepting constructive criticism. Alright, so there's people that hate you, you know, just and there's people that could seem like they're mean, but they're actually helping you somewhat. There's not a whole lot of constructive criticism in these videos, like in Let's Plays, because some people don't really care, some people do, but there are others that are actually trying to help you so let them help you if, if it seems like they're helping you like oh you should do this you should edit your video you should add this in your video and people could give you ideas and 
basically just help you. So it, allow some people to help you uh, and, and whatnot. It's basically constructive criticism. Because no matter what you do, people will criticize you. So might as well just listen and stuff. I don't know. Because all your life you will be criticized. Because criticizing helps you become a better person. Like it helps you better helps you better your skills and all of that so be prepared for criticism no matter what it's gonna be in your life like I said okay the next thing I think this is the last thing if if there's any more things to talk about I'll probably make another video about it or I'll add a comment in the comment section below as well but careful of who you choose as friends because you'll make friends yeah it's there's no doubt that people will want to be your friend, you know, they want to talk to you and like just be just just be this happy happy friends and all of that. But sometimes people can be fake. I'm not going to lie. I'm just going to put this out there, but there are fake people out there. And some people may use you for your your quote unquote popularity or subscriber count. Some people will be using you and some people will just talk behind your back and be wary of that because not the it's not going to be 100% peaceful unless you make it, I guess. Like, it depends, I guess. So be careful who you choose as friends and make sure to respect yourself. When it comes down to that, just respect yourself because, yeah, don't know how to describe it, but just respect yourself. Okay, so there's this last itty bitty thing that I need to mention. Um, it's really short. Don't It won't take that long unless I really talk this slow, but... Just in general, have fun and not treat this as a competition because the community, like in this community, if you want to make Let's Plays on Sims and all that, just basically the gaming community, we're all doing the same thing, but like different games. We're all basically just doing the same thing. So don't treat this as a competition. See, oh, who's the better person? I'm this better. I'm better than this guy. I'm better than this girl. Yeah. Don't, tr it doesn't, it's, it doesn't work that way. It's not meant to be a competition. So just have fun doing what you do and... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so I think that's all for all for this whole topic video, this whole advice video. Uh, so thank you guys for watching, and once again, I appreciate all of you for you know your your support, your feedback. I'm really grateful, and all of that. And if this video like helped you in any way, um, give it a thumbs up. And want to continue watching this series or well, not this. This is, this is a mini series. This is a mini series. If you want to continue watching this mini series or any other series that you're interested in? This is my my ending quote. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. It's free, and you'll be notified of when or what I upload. Make sure to follow me on my social networks too, Facebook and Twitter, because those are actually exclusive updates. Mo especially Facebook. I don't really update you know up on my videos on Twitter because I don't know why. But mostly on Facebook, I will up I'll, I'll update. Ugh. I'll update frequently of if I'm ever going to record or if this video is going to be uploaded, an estimated time arrival, yeah, and all of that. And that little, those little information that I tend to give out every once in a while. So, yeah. Yeah. Until then, stay awesome and have a wonderful Sunday. Hopefully all of you have a good weekend. And finals are this week, so do not expect me to upload a whole lot this week.